Okay, all you party people. Uh, my brothers in barbecue. Figured I'd do a video. Today's little barbecue that I'm doing. Some awesome food coming out of Junior. Junior here has gone through some modifications. Uh, I'll go through them with you. I watched a few YouTube videos myself and uh, decided to play around and instead of investing in a different offset smoker, I decided to modify Junior and give him an upgrade. Bought some uh, nice sized bricks for underneath to raise him up. And if you notice, the legs are now on the outside. So, and I'll show you why in a minute I did that. If you could see the tray for um, the charcoal and the wood is down just a little bit above where the bottom, the bottom of the feet lie. So uh, it's going to give me more space inside. Uh, I actually ordered a new uh, heat indicator because this one's a piece of crap. It used, it, it works, but. Not that I really need it, but I have one this I could pop this out and pop the new one in. The next modification is I took the top tray, the grill, and I made some handles on them because I'll show you the one inside. Uh, they didn't come with any handles, so when you want to take off, you know, what's the food that's on the top to get to the bottom, maybe do a little basting or, you know, uh, Take take uh take it off. Take what's on there off, and you know, sauce it up or uh, check it a little bit better. You can uh, get to it. So, bam, nice couple of uh, dollar handle pulls, <laughs> a couple of ten cent washers, and some screws, and uh, that's it. Then what I did was I, uh, I put some L brackets to rest it on because I took the brackets that were on the top and I'll show you again. See the, uh, the old grill has uh, no handles. This is the water tray that I, I should replace but um, if you sit, check the very bottom that's holding the tray for the charcoal or the wood, um, those are the clips that were up on the top where the L brackets are. So I moved them to the inside uh, because now the legs are on the outside. So I screwed them in so that gets it a lot lower now so I can actually fit more charcoal and more wood in and actually, uh, you know, not have to sit and watch it uh, every you know, 15, 20 minutes. So, um, and of course what I had before was I was using the lava rocks on the bottom because that'll keep the fire hot, you know, while I keep putting more, you know, charcoal or wood chips on or whatever I'm going to use. So what I did was I have had a really old uh, all metal colander. Uh, so the ash uh, doesn't just clog up um, you know, underneath uh, the charcoal when you keep, you know, obviously you're going to get a lot of ash because you keep putting more and more charcoal and wood on. So, uh, what I'll do is when I start the fire, and I'll show you guys uh, when I start today's fire, um, I'll end up putting the charcoal around the outside and putting my uh, $5 can of coffee full of charcoal, my starter, on the top. So what will happen is when I obviously pull my can, my coffee can, up and, uh, and the charcoals fall out, they'll end up falling out um, around it and I could just add as I go along. But I'll have all this space here uh, where eventually when I do get a new grill, I'm going to get a, a third grill so I have another tier. Um, to put more food in, obviously. Um, I'll lower these down uh, and I'll probably find some more clamps or use some more L brackets where I could put another shelf in. So uh, those are the modifications to Junior. Uh, we might as well leave everything out here 
because um, I'm going to start the choir now. It's like uh, a little after 12 o'clock on Sunday, uh, June 1st. And I'm going to uh, enjoy myself some smoked food later. And what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll take a break after I start the choir. And I will show you what's going to go on Junior. Or I should say go in Junior so he could smoke it. All right. Uh, it's going to be a nice, awesome day. There isn't a cloud in the sky. I'm going to enjoy myself. And see you in a little Okay, we're back again. Okay, uh, so what I did was uh, put some paper on the bottom on the some charcoal over some charcoal uh, a little bit of lighter fluid got my uh, five dollar can of coffee that I emptied and uh, filled it with charcoal and I've got it started so far so uh, this will uh, really make things go quick later because uh, once I pull that can out with my trusty tongs, I will. Uh, it'll it'll spread down. Um, it won't fall out the bottom like it did last time because if you see, there's just a little tiny crack going around now uh, around the bottom tray. So it works out nicely. Um, I uh, pretty much only like using Kingsford. Kingsford's the best. Uh, right now it's just regular charcoal in there, uh, but later once the fire is gone and that little bit of uh, lighter fluid has uh, burnt off, I'll, uh, I'll throw some hickory on. And then once it gets, you know, really nice and the temperature is up there, what I'll do is I bought some uh, pecan wood chips. I heard uh, pecan supposed to be really good and gives really good flavor. So uh, I was thinking I'm going to use these this time. I have lots of, uh, oh, these are actually chunks. I have lots of chips that uh, I've used in the past, different, uh, different types, apple wood, cherry wood, um, Merlot, soaked, all that kind of stuff. But uh, So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to toss our lid on and we're going to leave Junior alone for a little while. And uh, we're going to go inside and uh, make sure all our stuff is prepped and ready to go. And uh, we'll be back in uh, a few. Back again. And as we look, the Junior's getting heated. Smoke is starting to billow out. Getting a little gray color. So we're looking good. I did most of my prep last night, anyway, as far as food goes. Because today, we've got some monster-sized breastuses of chicken. Which we'll inject in a couple of seconds with uh, some juices, some spices. But it's uh, been uh, dry marinating overnight, actually. Uh, yeah, that's that was dry marinade. Uh, I tend to put a little bit of um, dark brown sugar in with my rubs, so um, it usually brings out the natural juices. Gotta love it. Then we've got a couple different types of sausages. One that's going to be um, an experiment, which is taco, like chili lime flavor. And then I've got my backup in case those are absolutely horrible which is my awesome smoky rib rub uh, on four then just felt like doing this but I, uh, I got some sweet mini peppers and what I did was I stuffed them with pineapple sausage meat sweet sausages meat um, some uh, pepperoni cut up garlic and also, um, I put in some uh, sun-dried tomatoes that were cut up. So, mix that all up with some spices, like a 
sausage loaf, stuffed sausages. I'm gonna put them on the top. Then we've got uh, some. I bought a really, really, really cheap rack of ribs that I cut up and made, uh, cleaned up, and uh, this was a four-dollar rack of ribs, so can't really expect much. But they sort of look like uh, pork baby back ribs, so uh, they're gonna. I think they're gonna be awesome. Uh, so we've got all that going on, and actually inside we've got, uh, which we'll show in a couple of minutes. We've gonna we're gonna prep some chicken wings, just a few for the top, so those will go quick, so I can eat them while everything else cooks. And we're making my world famous warm potato salad. It's really, we call it hot potato salad because when you put it in the bowl on the table at a barbecue, it doesn't get put down. It's a hot potato, baby. All right, we'll be back in a couple of minutes again uh, to uh, see how uh, the potatoes, the eggs, and everything is progressing. Back in a few. Okay. We're uh, waiting for the Yankee game to start. It's uh, just 1 o'clock. And we're going to watch some Yankee baseball while we uh, do the rest of our prep. We got our, whew, we got our potatoes and our eggs rolling. Going to fry up the bacon and the onions. Bacon and onions. And uh, my, uh, my potato salad is very simple. Um, it's... Uh, it's very easy uh, to make. Um, for some reason, it only comes out really, really good. Like when I make it, <laughs> not pat myself on the back a little, but um, it's all it is. It's uh, bacon, usually a lot more than a half pound. Uh, onions fried up, potatoes, hard-boiled eggs, which are going right over here. And uh, simple, plain, cheap as you could find mayo. No Hellman's, no real mayo by craft or anything expensive. And um, seasoned salt and usually some black pepper. And that's it. Really much, that's, that's all there is to it. It's just the, um, the way you make it. All that bacon fat and bacon flavors in it. So we're gonna have to put the camera down because we gotta prep, prep our chicken wings, and then uh, we'll check in in a few more minutes. Just another quick update. We uh, we are at the point of no return. <laughs> we uh, we pull our can out, and obviously everything fell very nicely into place. So. Uh, Gotta love that coffee can. Five dollars for a three pound can of coffee, and then uh, the can becomes more useful than the coffee. Um, so we're gonna put the lid back on, let that sucker go for a little bit more. Uh, where actually the uh, <coughs> junior, before I even took the lid off, was actually at ideal, as you could see. But, uh, and I took, and the lid's been off for, uh, a minute or two at least. So, uh, it's looking good, just like today is looking good. Hardly any clouds in the sky. Gotta love it. Gotta go back to my bacon. I can almost smell it from here. Later. Okay, we're back again inside. Gotta tend to the potato salad. Like my new screens? Woohoo! Okay, so, mmm, bacon, 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 I missed that old commercial, bacon, okay, so, the bacon and the onions are rocking and rolling, so we can turn the heat down on that, now we've got some, oh, peeling to do, yeah, I hate peeling potatoes and but we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. You know what the old-fashioned way is? The old-fashioned way is with a butter knife. Look at this. All you malakas out there. You malakas, you know what I'm talking about. You malakas. How many, uh, how many Sunday mornings 
uh, did you spend peeling a 50 pound bag of potatoes, huh? How many? Or, uh, or if we prepped them on a Saturday night in between you uh, running for the lead cabbages. Woo! -hoo! Hey boy! Hello dear boy! Two lead cabbage! Two lead cabbage! Come on Malaka, let's go! Yeah, well, see how easy it comes off? Why would anyone ever, 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 ever peel potatoes before you cook them? I have absolutely no idea. Look at this, watch this. Oh my god, it's beautiful. What a thing of beauty. What a thing of beauty. You know what's funny is when you, uh... Oops, I have to clean the carpet after this, too. What's funny is after this, um... Of course, we have our eggs we're cooking at the same time. The best thing is when you cook these together with the eggs, when you cook the eggs, the eggs come out perfect because... You're not just boiling just eggs, so it doesn't take away from it. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. How can you go wrong? I'm almost ready to pop it in my mouth now, but I'm not going to because then I won't have it for the potato salad. Well, anyway, that's uh, that's it for now inside. So I make sure that bacon, which smells awesome. Bacon, 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 bacon. Oh, it's just about there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, once again, we're going to put the potato salad together. We're going to rock and roll. And then we're going to go back outside after we uh, pay attention to what's going on at the Yankee game. Yankee game. Uh-oh. First and second. Nobody out. Top of the second. Yeah. You better get it together, boys. Get it together. Okay, outside again, and you can see real close, it says, almost steaming hot. <sighs> so, um, take it a lid off. Ooh, too hot. Forgot the glove. Wow, looking perfect. Look at that, gray all around. So, actually, we'll leave this off. And, of course, the next step is to put in... Our tray. Oh, it's hard to do while well. you got the camera in your hand. Put in our water to start steaming. This pan holds a lot of water. Right now, I'm just going to put one in. And uh, although it's not going to affect anything, I'm going to take that leaf that flew in out. So then, uh, that's going to heat up really fast. So what we're going to do is put our grill, our number one grill, without the handles. On. Ba boom. I know it's a little shaky. Sorry, everybody. Uh, bam. Uh, so we have to get some more water. We got our rib rack that we're going to put on, and we're going to place our food all inside. All right, so uh, we'll be right back after these messages. Stay tuned. Same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> back again. We've got our... Uh, Big old breasts is on there. They fit in the rib rack, which is awesome. We got our ribs going on already. Whoops. I hate this camera sometimes. And look at that. That fits on here pretty nicely. We got our wings. We got our breasts. We got our ribs. Oh, man. I know. Big deal. Okay. <laughs> it annoys me, but it's hot in there, so I shouldn't be sticking my hand in there. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, the idiot is putting the top shelf stuff on right now. So, we'll put the camera down for a second, and we'll keep rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those sausages rolling. Ooh, baby. 
man, I'm going to have to wait till these are done. That's not fair. Well, ooh, man, these these have that uh, Fiesta Lime on it, which, uh, whew, man, that smells awesome. And these have my awesome rib rub on them. So, let's toss those suckers on. Let me go to the peppers. Sausage and peppers, baby. Pretty colorful, I think. Mm-hmm. Pleasing to the eyes as well as the other senses. So, uh... Woo, baby. Oh, look at this. You know, this is just... I, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's a pretty barbecue. You got a pretty mouth, boy. Look at that. That's sweet. Oh, man, is that sweet. All right, so that's uh, that's it for now, actually. Got to go back and finish the potato salad. Put the lid on. Make sure the temperature is good. And we'll be rocking and rolling. Back to the Yankee game. Later. Alright, now we are talking, baby. Look at that sucker go. Yeah, I just threw in some of the uh, wood chunks because um, right on schedule at 2 o'clock we had uh, the food on inside. So I just about mm, five minutes ago threw ah, probably about three or four pieces of the wood on to get that fire going and uh, actually... To place it in there it took me a second, so the, the heat went down a little. It was in the middle of the ideal, but like I said, I can't wait to get that new uh, that new thermometer. It's supposed to fit right in there. If not, hopefully I'll just uh, need to throw some uh, some like heat uh, heat resistant silicone around the edge and pop it in. But uh, right now, uh, here's the finished product for my potato salad. Uh, I used to have to make, those of you who remember, when uh, we'd have a barbecue, all my friends would get together before everybody got married and with children. Uh, I'd make about five pounds of this stuff. <laughs> and uh, my friend John would eat about three of it, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Might be a little exaggeration since I probably ate two pounds myself and somebody else had some too. But anyway, uh, that's the finished product. It looks awesome. Uh, I can't wait. As you can see, it's chock full of bacon and egg. And uh, it's awesome. Anyway... So we'll put that to the side, and uh, later, after those sausages are done on, these are my uh, marinating uh, burnt ends they're going to be. So I'm going to use my little wok grill, uh, throw them on the top, and uh, bam, 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 and then uh, sauce them up. You go, buddy. Anyway, uh, back, to the, uh, back to the fun. As you can see, the heat's going back up already. We're ready to rock and roll, and I'm getting hungry. Later, all. Okay, party people, party people. It's like 5.30, and we still got some heat going on, although we don't need it anymore. There's my burnt ends, which are going to go on the bottom after I uh, take out the ribs. Let's go check out the ribs. Look at that. Oh my god. Can you see that? Can you see how awesome that is? If you can't, wait. Then we will make you dizzy for a second. Look at that. Aren't those beautiful? Well, we're going to take them off, wrap them up, put them back on to keep warm. And toasty, and we shall return. Of course, uh, the first round was all done.
which was, mmm, can't wait to have those burned ends. So, stuffed peppers came out awesome. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there's a couple sausages missing. I know. Ha ha ha. Of course there is. All right. So, uh, we're going to wrap them, keep them warm for later. Oh, yeah, that's right. Later. Okay, once again, party people. It's like after 6 o'clock now. And look at that. Well, I had to clean up a little sea from all the smoke, but still on warm. Just moved because I just cleaned it out. Uh, I took the lid off for a little while. We, uh... We are really done. D-U-N. These are my not-so-burnt ends. Which, uh... Are completely awesome. Mm. Mm. I'm going to uh, put them on the bottom because on the bottom I have my wrapped up ribs, chicken, and wings. And I'm going to switch them because I just need those to be warm while well, I need these to be hotter. So I'm going to do that. And. Uh, there's more food underneath there that I'll be eating soon. And uh, we'll see you in a little while once we get our plate together. Okay, folks? Mm -mm. Oh my god, this pork is awesome. Well, it's 7.30 and I've been picking it the food <laughs> as I'm cooking it. But poor Junior is gone cold. He's barely warm. He's pretty empty. And we have our buffet with our beer. Woohoo! Which I definitely earned. Sausages already uh, ate a few. <laughs> Wings already ate a few. My little burnt ends that weren't burnt but they're soft as butter. My potato salad and that fly that's not really going to eat too much, I hope. Uh, I'm about to uh, carve my beautiful uh, ribs up so I can have a couple. They came out completely awesome. They look like butter. Look at those things. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. My um, chicken breasts came out totally awesome looking. Look at those. I'm just going to, there's no bones in them. I'm just going to slice those. And I have nice big chunks of chicken. Uh, I've been dipping in that barbecue sauce that I had cooked the wings in. <laughs> mm. And uh, <laughs> that's about it. That's a wrap, I think, on this video. Uh, because uh, I'm about to uh, be my carnivore self and uh, be a glutton. But now um, I'd say I have food for the week. What do you think? All right, guys, this was fun. Uh, I'll put it all together in one big video and uh, I'm going to eat. Later, folks.